Hello everyone, Bio Middle Omega here. Welcome back to uh, okay. Welcome back to Turing Test. I don't know what that is, but alright. What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed okay. dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. Um uh... Oh, and then I... Okay, there we go. An accident. What kind of accident? Can you please... You know, give me some more information on that. Because just saying an accident Could really doesn't Could we take a help. more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. Oh, hey. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base. Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Makes sense. That's... Yeah, okay. As far as I know, that's at least correct. Okay, why... Why do I get all staticky when I'm in the magnet? Okay, well... Oh. Okay, well, I suppose that's not the end of it. I bet you we just go straight down to the end. There we go. Okay. Why, why does it get all staticky when I'm in there? Like, seriously. I don't, I don't know if that actually... I don't think that would happen normally. Oh okay, no, am I the robot? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food store, but the crew fixed that up. Yeah. We successfully Ooh. transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago. Growing fruit and vegetables. I think three for that. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. I see you. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Well, I suppose that's good to know. I I mean, yeah, I suppose that's a good thing. Don't know if I should be congratulating people or not. The other one had a doodaddy on it. Do you? Screen light, do you? Yeah. Aha! Gotcha. Come on. I kind of wish for the ladders they, the devs had made the the hitbox for activating it a little bit larger. No, not that. Oh, wait, no, I need... Ah! Dag on switch for it's over here. Do-de-do-do. -do -do. There we go. Oh, wait, yep. <laughs> Sorry. Well, give me the... Give me the... Okay, thank you. Okay. There we go. Sweet. My purpose as the overseer Ooh. of this mission is to work for the ISA. Yeah, okay. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission nope. directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously Wait a minute. about the running of the base. Oh. Oh, good lord. Okay, well, I'm not sure what good that did me, but... I can take this, put that there. Aha! I'm betting you... I'm gonna go ahead and get this one back, because I think I need it. I'm betting you... Yeah! Sweet! Oh. Okay, that's just the abyss over there for some reason. Oh. What? Oh. Sneaky snacky, devs. Sneaky snacky. Okay. Another decon room, I guess. I don't know what those are. When they can't communicate with us. Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. Really? 
The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, ah, yeah, they were they deemed know. as too unreliable for general use in the mission. I Why suppose that's that? fair enough. Biological systems produce biological results. Yeah. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. Okay, I glitched out on the box. It's, oh, whoops. Oh, it was where it needed to be. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You. You. Jeez Louise. Okay, we threw the door. What? I need two for that. How do I get one of those up here? Oh, I, I know what I can do. I can I can transfer that one up there. I keep forgetting I have the ability to grab those things from pretty much any distance as far as I get. thank you. So I can do this. And do that. And where do I go with this? Seems Oh. Oh I pro oh I probably can't use one of the boxes on that. Because it ain't a square. It ain't a square. Oh. Hello restricted area. I'm gonna get all up in you. How you do? This, this, this crouching actually... Oh, it does do something. I was wondering what the point in crouching two inches was. <laughs> and apparently that's the point in it. Hi. Shut up. Oh, okay. Shall we have a polite conversation? Sure. Why not? That's up to you. <laughs> then why bother telling me as much? Oh, I mean, this is what it's getting on with the Turing test, but how can you be sure? Uh, I didn't ask all the questions. I have that right since this is a conversation. No? Okay then. Oh hi. Not me. I didn't know. I Whoa, okay. Yeah, no kidding. I kind of gathered that much. Oh, that's the end of it? Okay, let me, uh... Whoa! Whoa, okay. I... Uh... I'm hitting escape and it's... <laughs> that's real funny, game! Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Please. I evidently, I don't. Okay, okay, bye. Ah, uh, okay. So that was that was that was interesting. I will admit, good, good, good thinking, Debs. Good, good thinking. I I applaud that one.
That, that was interesting. Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been oh. given authority aboard this station. It's a done reverser. I was designed by the ISA. Yeah. And the Ashiyama Corporation. Designed in California. Assembled in China. But of course it's Europa, assembled in China. I constructed myself. Oh, it's an emancipation field! That's what it is. Have you heard of the Turing test, Ava? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. Yes. Yeah, In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing okay. test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation, wouldn't you say? Oh, okay, I don't like the way you... Okay, that did not sit well. No, 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 no. No, no, wouldn't you say? Oh, that's not... No, get in there. Thank you. Okay. So what now? I think I need you. Yeah, there we go. There's literally a camera in every room. It's like freaking GLaDOS in here. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly oh. test a machine's ability to think, but rather, its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Ah, you see, there it is. Imagine We're not talking about a machine a for pigs here, though. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. Ah. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're okay. wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, hmm. you are having a conversation. But the person yeah, stuck enough. in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. Yeah, that's the difference. What if both of difference. the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? I may be a machine, but I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. Excuse me? Wait, wait. What? How would you... Mm. I don't like that. Oh. Oh. This is the crew's quarters. It looks abandoned. I do not see the need for so many cameras. Tom's presence everywhere is slightly oppressive. I understand the need for transparency. But why is he in the toilet? <laughs> uh, oh, that one's broken. Oh, I can't get in that one. Oh, well, that, w that would be why, apparently. Captain Daniel McLean is... Just apparently an enigma that he, he's probably the crux of this. I don't know. Sarah Book. Oh. What the heck? Hi, that really is all. Looks looks very tasty. <laughs> uh, uh, telomeres. Okay. Chemistry major, I guess. I don't know. What the heck is this? I don't know. Oops, sorry. Oh, yeah, I can pick up every individual. Oh. What is. Uh, what? 
Dear Tom, knowing that you're always watching, I thought I would write you a letter. As you no longer reside in my mind, I've decided to transfer my thought. Reside in my mind? What the hell? My thoughts to text. I want to do so in the form of a history lesson. A lesson that perhaps you'll find condescending, but it's likely more for my sake than yours. Alan Turing is considered a father of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence. Perhaps a lesser known part of his life was his contributions to the field of biology. Why do you suppose his interest lay in these two disparate fields? I assume it was because he believed the world to be logical and understandable. He was a mathematician. He seemed to believe that the great complexity of the universe could be explained with simple rules. It was simple rules. Blah, 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 blah. Two years before his suicide in 1952, Alan... Ah, uh, God, I can't talk. Alan Turing developed something called reaction diffusion systems. Inside the ac academic world, this work is cited more than his work on computers. It can be generally formali formalized as a one-line equation. All right, then. I am no mathematician, however, in plain English, this equation describes things that wish to diffuse. However, I also react with each other during this process. I am sure this sounds strange to you, or at the very least tangential to our lives here on Europa. What relevance does it have to anything here? Reaction diffusion systems show how patterns are created. They show how the leopard got its spots and how the zebra got its stripes. But my real interest here is Turing's, is Turing's interest, that nature can be formula, formalized, that we can understand the natural world in mathematical terms. Turing created the test to answer the question, can a machine impersonate a human? The intrigue behind that being, can the human mind be simulated by a machine? Why ask that question? Prove the human mind is a machine. I, I am not sure that is Turing's opinion, however. Concerning consciousness, he states this. Good God, this is long. According to the most extreme form of this view, the only way by which one could be sure the machine thinks is to be the machine and to feel oneself thinking. One could then describe these feelings to the world, but of course, no one would be justified in taking any notice. Likewise, according to this view, the only way to know that a man thinks is to be that particular man. Fair enough. If the human mind exists within the physical world, it obeys the same rules of physics and chemistry as every other being in the world. Therefore, like all of nature, it is merely reactive. It is curious that nature would create, through mechanics of determinism, creatures that believe they have free will. Conversely, I suppose, if we conclude that we are all machines, we only came to this conclusion in a predetermined manner. We cannot claim credit for our discovery as it is just a product of nature's genius, not our own. Humbling idea, I think. Behaviorism. Maybe we are more similar than we think. Sarah. Oh, look at the puppy. Uh... Wh why? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, what? Okay, I, I don't know what is going on anymore. Let's just keep going. Hello, I'm gonna invade your personal privacy. Okay, I can't look at those. Ooh. Christopher McLean. This beat the brother. More really is all. Okay, then. Yay, I can pick up more. In no, I can't pick up those pencils. <laughs> I mean, this. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know why that's torn, but all right. Drilling reports. Baseball bat, all right. Okay, that. Oh. That's really useful. <laughs> uh. This is entering interesting. It trans this game seems to really transition hard. Oh great, there are two PDAs in here. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> <sighs> If you're studying organism 119, please find attached scanning electron microscope image which appears to show pilus formation. Okay, this is what they were talking about in that one audio recording way in the last section. We hypothesize that this is a stress response due to high levels of radiation. We plan to infect a human cell line with organism 119 and perform a radiation experiments with flow cytometry. Would this be appropriate? It would be great if you could get the department to look at the SEM image. Okay, that's interesting. Hey, Suichi, it was great to see this image. Wow, you get more life on Europa. Dinococcus radiodurans might be worth looking at, at as it survives very high levels of radiation here on Earth. Similarly, you should consider looking at Sulfotobus acidocalidarius produces, that produces Pele in response to radiation and uses them to transfer DNA. Perhaps your organism uses a similar mechanism? Have you considered that Organism 119 is transferring or scavenging DNA as a method of surviving radiation? 
As you well know, in terms of radiation, Europa receives per day over 300,000 times the level on Earth. The organism must have evolved such a high resistance to radiation as a necessity of survival. That said, the radiation beneath Theta, Thera Macular is much lower due to the thick ice crust. Radiation experience with flow cytometry sound like an appropriate course of action. We've attached an image confirming that organism 119 attaches to human cells. Okay, that's good. We will proceed with the radiation experiments on these cell lines. We propose naming organism 119 Europa Radiophilus. What do you think? We have now run the irradiation experiments and confirmed that E. radiophilus does indeed seem to confer resistance to radiation. C. attached. We assume survival is due to DNA damage repair. We tagged various DNA repair enzymes with GFP and have found that DNA double strand break repair is occurring. C. attached. GFP image. Something's amiss. We don't know what is performing the repair. The lab doesn't know how, you, how E. radiophilus would name. Could repair DNA. Have you considered that other, another organism may be in symbiotic relationship with E. radiophilus? Perhaps a virus? We ran a PCR on the human cells exposed to E. radiophilus to see if there was a virus present. We have discovered an unknown virus which we have named Unknown UEV. <sighs> Gel electrical forces image attached. Give me to Christmas. This is a phenomenon you need to sequence this. We finished sequencing it. Data attached is a virus unlike any we have ever seen. Maybe we have found a cure for senescence. What? How did we jump to that? Form of biological immortality. How how did we get to that? We are running some long-term tests on plants and mice to see the effects. The plants are clearly exhibiting longer lifespans when exposed to the organism. We don't have the facilities here to continue testing. We are going on to human testing? Okay. These are cells as subjects. It's the only way to accelerate progress. This is... Okay. This isn't turning into Martian Gothic all of a sudden. Is it? It had better not be. I mean, I still haven't finished that, I know, but... More 119. Masses... If we harness this power, we can potentially eliminate biological aging. What is known as citizens? They found something that could make humans immortal? Not exactly. There are many causes of death other than DNA damage. It would not save you from trauma, from brain damage, from cardiac arrest, etc. But could potentially cure cancers and many genetic disease and massive increase in life expectancy. Interesting. Oops, I keep forgetting. So, that, so it's basically like that one character from Babylon 5, the... the... Motion sickness relief. Okay, then. Oh, hey. More really is all. So, they'd basically be like that one character from Babylon 5. I forget his name. I need to look it up. Uh, but the one that bought, brought the... Oh God. It's been like two years since I've watched that show. I apologize. I don't remember pretty much anything at this point. Except the one guy with like no hair with the weird ridges. He was a, an immortal except for like diseases and stuff. Hello. That had a label on it. Morphine. Morphine? KRW, okay, I'll take the word for that. Oh, somebody was, uh, having some fun in here. More really is all, what the hell? That's a lot of med kits. Another, let's see. Nope, can't interact with that. More. Oh, good God, more reading time with Omega. The whole team experienced nausea, nausea during a large electrical sur ah, surge in Europa's atmosphere. I am concerned this was not an instance of mass hysteria. Vital signs were affected. It caused a uniform surge in heart rate that was detected in all members of the crew. I am reporting to ISA. I reported the nausea... In, nauseous... Nauseous... In, I don't think that's correct. Incident to the ISA. They offered an explanation of electrical disturbance to our central nervous system. That is ludicrous. An electrical surge large enough to affect your nervous system would have done more than make the team feel ill. I mean, maybe. I'm going to experiment with some shock therapy. I have discovered that electronic fields disturb our telemetry implants in a way I didn't expect. I have contacted the ISA. Strangely, Tom was not comfortable with my attempts to disturb the implant. The I... Really? Well, I mean, I could just be in his protocols. The I, I, I do not like him, but it might just be in his protocols. The ISA have reported back informing me that I am not to disturb the implants. They have also encouraged me not to discuss this further with the team. 
That's something in Russian, I don't know. I am continuing to investigate. I have been running some experience outside of Tom's view. I can tell he knows this. He's been acting differently around me, like an offended child. I feel increasingly nauseous. These implants seem to have neural connectivity. Out-of-body experiences are more frequent now. What?! I've established a definite correlation. Against my knowledge, I have been implanted with a device that affects my mind. I used my opportunities in regular health checkups to investigate the crew. We all have them. Every single one of us is implanted with some mind-altering contraption. Tom has been encouraged to encouraging the team to worry about my mental health. He requested that I retire away from the crew. Misinformation. That's more Russian than I can't read. I cannot will myself to investigate this further. I grow tired quickly. I cannot think straight. I am not sure if the implant is affecting my thoughts anymore. I really is trying to subdue my mind. I think I am going to attempt an excision. I am going to remove this implant. I am typing with my left hand now. The excision went wrong. I successfully removed the implant. Unfortunately, I lost my hand in the operation. Tom is very angry. Crew refused to talk to me. Apparently, I am a bad influence. Sarah patched me up. I wonder if the nature of the organism and its disturbance of my... De what? It's a bit of a jump, ain't it? My DNA caused my awakening from Tom's influence. If so, that would make for a worrisome revelation. Perhaps this organism is not so friendly. Yeah, I mean, that would... Yeah. Dean informed me ISA have called for my termination. My masochistic experiment proves I am danger to the mission. Maybe I should read this in a Russian accent. Fortunately, he chose not to lock me in the brig. I am going to investigate this implant further. I have to hide my work. The team are becoming increasingly aggressive. They seem to oppose my work to understand the implant. It does not help that Tom is encouraging them to distrust me. I have discovered the nature of the implant. It is a complex computer. It interfaces with the human mind directly. It seems to condition the mind through Pavlovian and in instrumental conditioning, eliciting feelings of euphoria when the wearer is obedient and dysphoria when they are disobedient. Yeah, I mean, that's positive and negative reinforcement. That's pretty standard. It also has the effect of suppressing impulses in the frontal lobe, presumably to lower free will. It seems to interface crudely with motor neuron cells through, through the cerebellum. It is my hypothesis that the crew is controlled by this implant. That, that is their strong aversion to helping me. I need a method of suppressing its impact. Perhaps a drug? Really is all? Oh, that's what's been in... Okay. That's what's been in all of the rooms so far. Maybe an antidepressant to minimize the conditioning effects. Combined with a strong electromagnetic field? I could use one of the industrial electromagnets from the construction robots. I've managed to get Chris on my side. He has agreed to test some medical procedures with me in private. It will be more difficult one-handed, but I must persevere. I am hoping to keep this out of the eyes of Tom, though I have a feeling he will still be listening. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, this this, this was the guy. Okay, okay, so that explains why there's bottles of really is all everywhere, I guess, because everybody just needed to get high as hell! But anyway... <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I'm going to have to end the episode here. I will see everybody in the next one. I hope to dear goodness that you enjoyed. You will come back for more. Uh, but I did that wrong again. I forget what the hell my outro was anymore. And